got a busy mix and nothing is cutting through. Let's have a look at how to fix that. Okay, so we got this big session here and let's go ahead and break down how to go ahead and have my impacts cut through. It's a pretty busy mix. Uh, it's got a lot of explosions and a lot of morphing sounds going on and I wanna make sure that my transients cut through the mix. How do you do that? We go ahead and have a sound like this. Lots of transits happening. But what I have is a sound effect like this. I'm cutting off the sound just before the transient happens. So that way we go ahead and have a nice clean impact. If we go ahead and extend these out, you'll, you'll see that we don't have as big of an impact. Right? Versus... I am adding a decent amount of reverb to this in order to go ahead and mask the amount of silence. Let's have another look at a different transient in this session here, and then it'll be this one. So we got a nice big car morphing and like being slammed into the ground. But what, what I'm doing here is again, the same trick. I'm creating this nice gap of silence just before the transient and any information that isn't important to the sound I'm cutting off. So I could play these sounds at the beginning, but I, I decided to cut them off because it's not helping my transient cut through. Same thing with this sound down here. Again, I could play the, the, those sounds there, but I'm just filtering out any information that isn't important to the initial hit. Within the context of the full mix, And the same thing for those left and right impacts, they're, they're doing the exact same thing. I, you just cut the sounds before the impact, and then you minimize the tails after the impact. These ones are distant explosions. Anyways, I hope that's helped you guys. Go make some noise.